Hello and welcome to Infinity. How do you convert a selection to a mask? The answer is really easily. Let's take an example. Let's take the, the selection brush here and just select the land there. That's why I use this picture. It's nice and easy to select. And if I want to convert this into a mask, all I do is at any time go down here and click on this little icon here called Mask Layer. And there we go. It's now I've turned up as a child layer here and I can just drag it down a bit to get a full horizontal blue bar if I like. If I alt click on that you can see where it is. So the white is showing what it's allowing through and the black is what is not allowing. We can deselect now so we don't need the marching ants. The sort of thing we could use this for is for, say, colouring the land. So if I put in, say, uh, add a pixel layer, so one up here, I pick a kind of warm layer, colour up there, that'll do. And if I then go to the flood fill and click on that layer, it's going to fill me up with that. So that we're on the top layer now and it's uh, covering this up. And so I can use the mask now to constrain that. So if I drag that up there, so it goes up to the bar there, you can see what's happened. This is now making that yellow only through to there. And let's bring that up again. That's just over the top. Put that in there. There we go. You can see what happened if I put it above. It masked everything. But now I just want to mask that layer there. So I've got this the land here. So it's now a child of the pixel layer. And if I want to then see that a bit better, um, I can use various things. There we go. And if I can just literally drag down on these blend modes to see what it looks like. Find one that I like. And what about the ones up here? Uh, Colour bone was kind of okay, okay, wasn't it? There we go. So we can then select that. And then if we want to vary the uh, how much that is, I could say put in a, th say 30%. There we go, and that's just improved that colour a bit there. So if I take that off, put that on, it's put a little slight colour tint onto it. But there again, though, that shows how you can start with the selection and turn up with a, a mask. You can also do that directly. So if I go down to history and just go back to the beginning, if, for example, I wanted to put a curves on uh, in here, the first thing I do is to get a selection and drag across here to make up whatever it is I'm going to select. could be obviously more complex. Now, if I click on here and go to curves, the selection that I've made is going to turn into a mask on the curve. So you can see this layer here has turned up. And in there, you can see a bit of where it's selected. So the white bit is this bit here. So now if I make the adjustment change, it, it only affects that bit of the area that's selected. And I can do a select and deselect if I want to remove the marching ants. It is still going to work. So if I bring up the curves, this still applies just to that area because of the mask that's been set. OK, there we go. How to turn a selection into a mask. Either with just apply a, an adjustment, all the different adjustments will work like this. Or you can click down here to create your separate mask layer. OK, thank you very much for watching.